Hey, Gary Guth here with BagpipeLessons.net. Uh, today we're going to talk about tuning the chanter. And so um, a couple days ago I uh, had posted a video about tuning the chanter and my quality control uh, expert, uh, my son Ryan, uh, calls me on the phone and says, you know that video put up uh, was really slow like this. He said I talked about an octave lower and so forth. So anyway, so we're redoing it today. Um, I have I I just adjusted a chanter read so that I could blow it, um, and you know uh, I would advise you. Everybody says, oh, the stronger read you can blow, the better the tone. That's true. Uh, however, um, the worst thing that you could do is to hurt yourself uh, trying to blow a read that's too strong for you. So I've adjusted this read uh, to fit my strength. So what we're going to do is we're going to put it in. And we're going to see where what it sounds like. Okay, so let's let's try this out. So the first thing I want to try out, I want to make sure my octaves are in tune. And I think it's a little flat. Let me uh, let me put it in a little bit further. I've got it. I've got threaded threads inside the seat of the chanter reed, which I really like. That's what I want. A, 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 A. Now, over the years, I've found uh, different tunes uh, that have all the chords in them. So if I want to, if, my, if I'm trying out a tuning phrase, I can play, um, well, it's uh, the third part of the Lady's Hornpipe in Scott's Guards Book One, which is uh, good for all the chords. sounds pretty good. All right, so the, the other thing you could use um, are some familiar songs. Uh, so there's there's a couple chords that we tune with, uh, the A chord, A-C-E-A, -E and that would be represented in the Marine Corps hymn. All right, so that sounds pretty good. And then the other one in D would be Amazing Grace. Grace sound pretty good right now. And then the, the, the top hand, uh, the EFG, um, I don't know um, how old some of you are, but uh, w when I was a kid, we used to sing, there's a place on Mars where the lady smokes cigars. I won't go any further, but uh, that's, a, that's EFG. All right, so Right now, this chanter sounds pretty good. Now, I have some tape uh, tape down here on the bottom because although it sounds great right now, when I put it in the pipe and I'm blowing harder, uh, maybe a little harder pressure on it, um, you know, you're gonna, I'm going to find a couple of notes that need some fine tuning. So let's see what we got. If you don't have one, you, you all need a bagpipe stand. Uh, this is the greatest thing about this is the fact that your bagpipes are always out and they're always calling your name. You know, uh, the worst case, the worst thing you could do with a set of pipes is to leave them in the pipe case in the closet because guess what? Out of sight, out of mind. You forget about them. A bagpipe stand is uh, made by a, a true craftsman. All right, so here we go. So we're gonna try this out, and, and what we do is we use one tenor drone uh, to tune it. So let's see what we got. Of tape like this, and I'm going to cover the D hole uh, 
just a little bit. Doesn't even that D holds the fourth one up here. Let's see what we'll see what we got. keep a, an extra piece of tape on the ch a couple pieces of tape on the channel you know you never know when you're out playing someplace and all of a sudden uh, you know because of the the conditions or the hu the humidity or anything like that all of a sudden one of your notes goes out and you don't want to be running back to your car to grab a you know grab a piece of tape all right so uh, I hope you enjoyed this video uh, my name is Gary Guth. This is BagpipeLessons.net, and uh, I appreciate your support in playing the bagpipe on Facebook. Have a great day. Thanks.